Hello guys, I'm Warbeta, your Welsh engineer, and welcome to the Jewel Moon Expedition. And yes, I did spell expedition with expedition, but I thought I'd put the spelling correction in the video. I don't know, I thought it'd be funny. Uh, anyway, let's get to this video. Anyway, I've had some corruptions, not corruptions, but mod updates which didn't fully agree with my, uh, was it owning the man uh, series the save itself isn't working properly plus i have an ulcer on my tongue which is may find me speaking oddly at times <laughs> but other than that everything's cool but it uh, apparently is not cool okay so this was going to be a simple video i'd send this probe to jewel do some flybys of the moons explaining that this is the pre-expedition that we'll be sending our kerbals yes your names will be on the as part of the Kerbals, or your names will be the Kerbal names, put it that way. So all I have to do is put your names in the description below, but type in Kerbal, type Kerbal properly, otherwise I won't filter correctly, and then I'll know to add your Kerbal. Anyway, let's get back to the point here, because I'm going off track here. Right, so what happened? I made this video, I was happy with it. Well, I didn't make the video, I didn't edit it, but all, everything was recorded. I thought, great, I've got the shots I need more or less and then i put it in my editor and lo and behold all i have was the audio i thought no this cannot be happening i do not have time to re-record this yeah i said it in that exact voice but basically i was unable to use the footage so i went scrambling around will this program help can i convert this can i put it in my old vegas editor because i got sony vegas and i've got the new um vegas which is no longer sony vegas but just called vegas 14 which is the one i'm using now because it works much better it's all the bugs have been fixed more or less so i went into the old vegas no the footage can be seen there either I had a look in, uh, was it Windows Movie Maker or whatever it was? Nope, didn't agree with it. Although I could play the videos in Windows Media Player or VLC Player, it would not work in the editors. So I had to use, was it X Recode or something? And I had to recode them back into MP4 format. 4 format. Because I record these in MP4 format because it makes everything a lot easier. And by the way, on screen here now we are passing past Lathe. And this is the first time we have discovered that Lathe has oxygen in the atmosphere. In, um, I, I didn't read that. I'll let you read that. <laughs> but, and yes, I am using MechJib to do all these sort of like maneuvers because this is a space probe. If there's Kerbals on board, I'll probably do the maneuvers manually uh, most of the time. Sometimes use mech jab, just so I can get the awesome shots of the spacecraft doing this maneuver. And also, for, to get that maneuver to fly by of lathe, I made a mistake. This is it. I did not check to see if our periapsis went into the atmosphere of Jewel. And it did. So obviously we lost the probe. We lost the mission. Our oh, balls. But luckily we have F5 and F9, and for your console players, that's a quick save and quick load. <laughs> Could you imagine though, and I think this happens in real life, I really believe that NASA have F5 and F9. Quick save and quick load, because if you think about it, their missions are so precise, they get most of them on target. And also, they only lose a handful of missions, which means they must be the missions that they did not click F5 for a quick save. But anyway, I've gone completely off topic as we are passing Tylo for a scan of the largest moon of Jewel. If you want a gravity slingshot or gravity breaking, this is the moon that you really need because it does a lot of work. So anyway, I've recoded all my videos now and they're all working in Sony Vegas. However, if you look at the footage, sometimes you get some artifacts, especially on the moon Tylo now. You're looking at it, we're heading away from it, we're doing our maneuver to get our next flyby of uh, Val this time. But if you keep an eye on the footage, perhaps the background of the universe, sometimes it all glitches out. Uh, I'm not sure if you saw it, but, uh, but yes, that's called MPEG-4 Artifact. And basically, MPEG-4 encodes things to make things 
smaller i suppose the get the word is basically it sees that oh this is the same this little block is the same as this block so we'll copy that so we don't have to have extra data on that so we can save a bit of space and send it down the small narrow tube which we've called the internet and yes it is a small narrow tube don't forget we're still not operating a hundred megabits per second which is normal LAN uh, some places have it some places don't don't forget you're trying to download a video from over, over the other side of the world it's going to go through slower um, networks and that so yeah so we're not 100% everyone in the world has to have 100% speed for everything to work properly but before I go on a single man quest to improve the internet infrastructure across the entire globe before um, solving world hunger. I suppose that should be done first before all the internet, shouldn't it? Or something along those lines. Anyway, before I go doing all that, I should start with learning my first lesson of being able to check your recordings in your editing software first thing. Just do a short recording, pretty editing software, make sure it renders. If that all's fine, go ahead with your project. I think a problem happened when I updated Merlis Action. I updated it, I didn't check to see if it was good, would work with the new uh, recording. Obviously, obviously the update is Sunday, because there was another update later on the, in the week, I think. And I didn't update it. I thought, no, I don't want to ruin it. I don't want to cause some more mistakes. But the damage was already done before because I didn't even check it. Okay, so that's what happened for my week. Other than work, doing things, and everything else. So, let's get to the Jewel Moon Expedition. So what I want is your Kerbals. Put your names below in the description. Kerbal followed by your name, or I'll use your username, that you, your YouTube username, and then we'll go on expedition on exploring moons. What we'll be doing mainly is landers, we'll do sample return missions perhaps, we'll have to take an ore tank or something, and we'll go exploring the moon. Now there's at least going to be four videos after this video of that. So I'm not sure if we're going to go further on that. It depends how long this takes, because I think there's three, five moons. There might even be five episodes. What we'll do, we'll send a mission over. We'll build it in Kerbin orbit. So that'll be probably six videos because I build it all, and then send, perhaps pre-send some of the stuff over to Jewel, so that we have supplies, we have fuel that we can get for our landers. Perhaps even send the landers themselves on before the Kerbals are sent. Because that would be a proper NASA approach, I think. Make sure everything, make sure the infrastructure is there ready for them. Before they commit to that mission, we shall go. Because, not because it's easy, but because it's the Kerbal thing to do. Okay, there's my pep speech. <laughs> and the last thing of this mission now, we're going to deorbit this probe smash it into the planet because we don't want to contaminate any possibilities of life on one of the moons and then we'll go and con send out Kerbals and contaminate the moons with our life <laughs> oh that sounded wrong for some reason anyway tell, let me know if you enjoy this idea we'll be doing this expedition perhaps set it won't be huge so like huge bases it'll be sort of like landers small bases perhaps a rover on small moons it'll be a rover which will float and go around so nothing huge not multiple missions making huge bases or space stations for a small sort of like single space station which the Kerbals can return to Kerbin you know. on so let me know that and yes I think this is where we uh, burn up and die thank you Kerbal probe you were awesome And there's always one thing that survives. If ever I put mech chip on one of these missions, the mech chip unit survives. <laughs> I have no idea. It's so hardy. There was no reason why it should be. It should be the most delicate part of the spacecraft. Anyway, this is what parts that I've I just started building. I'm not sure what I'll do. I was thinking of even doing this on a live stream. Just designing parts that we can use for the mission. This is supposed to be sort of like the crew quarters and the return craft for our troubles. 
so it's not sort of like set in stone but I thought girders some fuel tanks on the outside a couple of modules solar, um, solar panels <laughs> yeah or if you have your own designs let me know Set, share them in my discord channel which I'll link below anyway I'm Orbiter trust me I'm an engineer <laughs>